bathroom um, I am going to show you how I do this blowout that you can currently see um, it is the most requested most highly requested only requested video that I have ever had uh, I posted about a month ago this hair tool that I've been using to blow my hair dry because I have always used a blow dryer well rarely because it's such a pain in the butt um, and I can never get it to look good like it always looks frizzy and takes forever so I ordered this new hair tool it's called the hot airbrush I, I think it's Revlon that makes it um, and it's literally a miracle worker and when I posted it on my Instagram stories so many of you bought it and then messaged me later and were like oh my god this is amazing and then some of you are like hey show me how to use this so that's what I'm doing in this video um, if you don't have the tool you should get it you should get it if you have one like thick hair like me that takes forever to dry and dries like ugly um, you want more volume in your hair you want like a sleek look like a sleek blown out look um yeah basically if you want something quick easy looks good get this hair tool um, yep so let's jump into the video so this is the hair tool um this is what it looks like it's dirty it literally has hair in it i probably should have cleaned that um where is the okay so it has like your little off cool low high switch the same way that a um like a regular blow dryer would and yeah it literally just looks like a round brush but you turn it on and it sounds like that definitely not quiet by any means so i will show you now how i do this um i don't know if i said it in the part before but it's like key to have your hair almost like 85 percent air dry so i had to put my hair up on top of my head because um because i was doing my makeup and i just didn't want it to be in um so it's kind of like messy and curly right now so what i do you could probably just use the brush to brush it out but i will use this like wet brush thingy to brush it on out now you can see like the front isn't as wet okay ow okay so the number one there's like three ways that i would do this but if you want like the nice blowout look this is um the first way how i would do it so i section it off into three sections so the first section i do like this much hair and i put all of this on top of my head definitely not a professional in any sense there's probably a better way to do that um and then i bring all my hair to the front i grab like naturally i start at the front and work my way to the back but i grab about this much of hair so there's about it's like an inch shorter on each side than the width of the brush this way um and i lift the hair up like this and i stick the brush underneath of it like this and then i like run it over so like my hair is through the brush and then i turn it on and i kind of twist the hair like this and then I pull it and then I twist it again at the ends and then it will be dried. But obviously um, it's not on, so it's not gonna work right now. But that is what I do for the first section. So I'll just do that all the way around my head. But as I'm going down the shaft with my hair, I put my hand over it to feel the heat because I don't want like too much heat on one spot or like too like not enough heat on another so I like feel it all the way down and um yeah I, I put it on the highest setting but Nicole told me if you want less frizz you do a lower heat right does that make sense and do the same thing I was doing but instead of brushing up like this and out you br you get your hair in there and then you pull it forward and brush it like that and it does give like the hair a lot more volume you can even see there's no heat on it just for me brushing in that motion it's like compared to this side so okay that's all i want to say i'm gonna keep going
section done and I have to do this side. Um, I didn't time it, but I can check my camera how long that took me to do that first small section. Usually my whole head takes me 10 minutes. I also realized how funny this is. Um, I don't know when you're watching this, obviously, but right now it's Corona time <laughs> and um, people are fighting over toilet paper. So I'd just like you to know that it always looks like this. I didn't hoard that. I just always have a lot of toilet paper. <laughs> Actually, the layer I care like the least about I like as long as it looks um, good around like the ends that's all I really care about because no one sees this my hair covers all of it so next I just section get another section and like look at the difference <laughs> I look like a witch um, I'll just run like my fingers through it get all the knots out and then I section it again so I want my top layer to be saved for the end because that's sort of like the layer that matters the most in terms of volume um, so I make a little bun on top of my head like that and then brush this all through and then I just do the same thing again also say like note how bad I am at like sectioning it off and like doing all this stuff I am in no way a professional I cannot blow dry my hair with a round brush to save my life I am terrible at this kind of stuff but this makes it so easy like I've literally just like not even taking proper chunks just like grabbing my hair and putting it on here and it just like makes it look so smooth I don't understand I don't know if you guys can really tell because my hair is like dark and my shirt is dark so I'm just gonna do this so you can actually see like how it looks how the ends look they're kind of like twirled in or out um, yeah so now you're going to part your hair however you like so I part mine in the middle like this just do it with my fingers. I bring all my hair to the front like this. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing I've been doing. But it, I think it matters a lot more about the volume here than anywhere else. So I make my sections pretty thin. And I stand the hair straight up like that. And I put the brush as close to, like it's literally sitting on my head. So I put as close to my scalp as possible wrap it and then I pull it up like this and then you can really see I twist it the end and pull it straight and it like kind of curves in towards my face so yeah I'll continue doing that you can see And then for the back pieces, I stand it out straight and I put the brush here on like not underneath but on like the back side and I pull it forward and curl it that way. 
because I feel like it just brings a lot of volume to the front. look this is usually how I leave it so I feel like it's very um, like sleek and straight and enough volume for me but I know that some people um, want more volume than this I had someone message me and say that they had already purchased it but they didn't feel like they got um, the amount of volume they wanted so I'm gonna show you one more thing I do if I feel like it, my hair is on the same thing like it doesn't have enough oomph so, literally take it, put, like I can't really bend over to show you, wait, maybe I can. I have sweatpants on so don't touch me. Um, I put my hair, flip it over like this, it's really awkward to talk to you like this, and then I brush it with the brush on, upside down like this, and then you flip it over and your hair is literally enormous, so don't be um, like alarmed by any means, but. Uh, this is how I do it. <laughs> okay. Like, is that enough volume for you? <laughs> okay, so you can also do the same. I just did like... <laughs> I look like Hermione. <laughs> I also do the same to um, like here flipped over, but uh, this time I just did the back to get more volume here. Um, and then once I've done that, I just run my fingers through it and it kind of like tames it down and makes it smooth again. And this video is going to obviously feel like longer um, than what it is actually like to do your hair. I've had to stop and talk a lot of the time. so. Keep that in mind, but it literally takes me 10 minutes to do my hair now after I shower. Um, and then the other way that I thought to show you um, for the lazy people, or like if you just got out of the shower and you're going to bed and you don't want to like round brush your hair, I literally will turn it on. Or this is good for kids too. I literally turn it on and just brush it out like this and it dries it perfectly. It definitely has like zero volume just as you would um, blow drying your hair like down. It just goes straight, but... Oh yes, okay, so a lot of people who have very curly or wavy hair message me and ask if it will work for them. And like I can't guarantee because I don't have curly hair, but I have friends who have curly hair who have bought it and said that it's amazing and it's like going to a salon. So if I'm trusting them, which I do, I would say that it works for like any hair type. Um, but yeah, try it out for yourself. If you hate it, you can always send it back, right? Well, I have to say, I hope this works for you. I will link it in the description box so you can um, get it for yourself. And please do use my link because it really helps. But yeah, if you have any questions at all, you can just uh, comment below, email me, anything. Just get in touch and I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.